Hello guys, uh, today let's talk about how to uh, put the load on the structure and I would cover the one way and two way by using the cladding in this video. So I have the structure here and I have uh, the load type already defined. Uh, you can check it in here. The first is save weight, the second is superimpose dead load and the last one is slide load. Now in order to import the load you go to geometry and draw the cladding first. So what we uh, need to consider uh, uh, is the load distribution. So first I will show you the two way first. And next is uh, we need to choose how we draw the cladding. So the easier way is uh, the rectangle for this kind of structure. So I choose rectangle and draw the first, second, and third point. And then we we'll, uh, it will automatically draw the cladding. Next, you can import the load. In this case, I only put the line load. I go to load the definition and choose the surface and uniform planar uh, load and let's say the load is minus 2 and I, pl I apply this is the load now to make sure that the load is transferred correctly to the structure you can check it by go to analysis generation or computational model and after running you can show the result by go to load and forces generated automatically this is uh, the option that show the load on the beam that transfer the load from the cladding that uh, get the load from the cladding so I will apply uh, I will hide this first Okay, in order to uh, make this bigger, you can click on the pick up or pick down button on the key your keyboard. So this is how the beam get the load from the cladding. As you can see, it is the two-way type of load uh, distribution. One more thing you can uh, Click on uh, load distribution regions to show how the load is distributed uh, graphically. Then apply, and this is how the load is generated. So this beam get the load from these two area. And this beam get the load from these two area. So this is how you uh, put the two-way load on the uh, the structure. Next, I will show you uh, about one-way and two-way. So I'm going to load table. I will delete this first. Uh, you can just press the delete key on the keyboard and also delete this I will draw the cladding again but this time I will select one way and following the X direction the X direction meaning that uh, it will follow the uh, how you draw the cladding not from the global uh, axis I will show you first I will click on this point and then this point so the X of the cladding from uh, what how I draw here we are following the Y on the global axis meaning that X is from this point to this point because you draw the first and second from this 
now I will input the load let's say the same amount now I do the same thing for uh, two-way load distribution and I will show the result so this is how the load generated you can also check this this uh, you can also uh, show the amount of the load so this is how the uh, one-way X direction work so the load is uh, following the X direction and the X direction is uh, is the direction from the first point and second point on the uh, cladding now to to, uh, to understand it, I will show you again at this time I will uh, using the load distribution uh, by y direction so I will draw the same thing this is the uh, first point and second point and then third point and fourth point because I choose contour so I need to draw five uh, click on the five point so the load this time will uh, following the y direction and y direction uh, is perpendicular from the x direction and you know the x direction is from the first point and two point uh, direction so the y direction will following the second point and third point of the cladding now we'll uh, put the load again and I run the load generation and then I show the result and as you can see uh, the load is generated uh, from uh, following the y direction and the y direction is from the second point and third point uh, direction you can also show the force generated automatically and this is the amount uh, the value okay so this is how you put the load uh, on the structure and how you can check the load if uh, to see if uh, those load on the cladding is generated correctly on uh, the on your structure so that uh, you can design the beam uh, or uh, uh, sub beam correctly you can check it by this way so this is the short torturer I, I will cover a lot more in another video I will cover full detail but uh, that's it for this video and see you guys next time thank you